welcome. This is Melissa Armo, the stock swoosh and reviewing Apple. Apple was the stock swoosh show option of the week. We did the 185 puts. We did the 180 puts. This was uh, just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful short. We were right on top of it. Actually, it was a week ago. Actually, I called, um, actually, did I call both of them there? I forget when I called the 180s. Hold on. I called the 185s last week on Friday. I think I did the 180s. No, I did the 180s. No, I did. I did the 180s on Friday too. Yeah, that was really a you know, good call. Yeah, we were in this early. That's that's why it's just such, such a nice move. So let's go back and look at it. <clears throat> so this had earnings. So a gap down here closed at 191.17, open in the morning at 185.52, and I called both the 185s and the 180s this day. <clears throat> so actually it was Friday afternoon, it was late, which meant I knew it was lower on Monday, which it was, so, because when, when I do a trade late into a Friday afternoon or any afternoon, actually it means I'm holding it overnight, 99.99% of the time. So, and this was, I think I sent this after two or three, it, it was late in the day. And then it went. So this was Monday, fell off a cliff. So ultimately, if you look from the high of the first day of this, it was 187.38. Again, I have no idea what this is worth today because I was out before today, but it is interesting. You could have held those trades into the very last day, which is so rare and actually probably made even more low was 176.55. So the market fell. Let's quickly look at the market fell, bounced today. Is Apple the reason the market fell off this week? No, no, it's not. It's really, really not. There were many, many other reasons. So Apple would have been lower either way, even if the market had not sold off this week, which it actually did. But this was the biggest option of the week. And I'm very good with seeing targets before something gets there, even if it's far away. I see that it can get there, which this was when I called it on the Friday. And um, ultimately, it's very interesting because, you know, that's part of the gap reading. Part of the process and what people learn and the benefit of taking my golden gap class is that you learn how I know that Apple is going to fall, that it is going to have a big move, that the trade is going to go to a bigger number. And that's the point of learning for me. I actually also called the 175s too. I called the 175s on Monday. So... Again, very far away from the strike to see that it would keep dropping and go down. So we did day trades in this in the last week. We did options in this in the last week. It was a really nice stock to short. Again, the impetus for this was the earnings, but ultimately it's really the gap. So we're, when we're trading, when I make my picks, I trade momentum. And one of the reasons I like to short over going long, why I prefer to short over going long is because short moves do happen fast and big. This is a big move, even for Apple, even in the last week. From last Friday to today, this is a very, very large move for this stock, more than 10 points to the downside. I mean, you want to count today as a green day in this? I would barely count it. It's a baby green bar, and actually we gapped down today, so I really wouldn't count this. But the reality is this was red all week. <laughs> and so this was the biggest option call of the week. Again, three options I called in it. And you could have been in them till the last last day. So we will see what we get next week. I never know. Taking the weekend off, it's nice to give myself a break from charts, uh, which I will be doing Saturday and Sunday. But my read on this was spectacular. Uh, this week and also my read in the market. So it's very interesting times right now. Again, I love to short. When the time to short comes around, I am poised and ready to go and make all the money that I can. And this was a great example of that. If you'd like more information about taking my Golden Gap class, the class for August is next weekend. I do one class a month. So the next class is not going to be till the end of September. That's a long way away. If you want to get in, you want to start getting the day trades, the options trades, Sign up for the Golden Gap course and do it in August and you will get the next Apple. I always have people that say to me, how long is it going to take to make the cross back from the class? Listen, <laughs> you know, you get, an, you get a trade like this. You get a good gap like this that I call three, four trades in. You're making the cost back of the class really quickly.
So, you just got to learn it. You got to start trading with me. I mean, that's the bottom line. But if you're interested, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great night, everyone.